Hello everyone, you're watching another exciting episode of Reds Gameplay videos. <clears throat> As per usual, starring moi, Reds, previously on Mario Kart Tour episode 10, you all saw how we played Coconut Mall and Chocolate Island, and I got Frenzy Mode one time, and I was hoping I could get it again. And, um, what else happened? Nothing much. Just went shopping. Couldn't find anything interesting. Unbox some tour gifts. That wasn't interesting either. Um, what? Sorry. Um, I thought there was something on my screen, so that's why I was wiping it. Sorry I did that. So, yeah. We are just about almost done with Fire Rosalina Cup. We're going to be playing Luigi Raceway and DK Mountain. Mm, DK Mountain. That's the only level I actually enjoyed playing. Along with DK Summit and DK Jungle, which I hope makes it to this tour soon. And I hope I level up. So yeah. Enough chitter chatter. Let's get playing. And as you remember, I upgraded, not upgraded, I kind of like switched. That's the word I should use, not upgrade. I switched from Bridal Peach to... I'm just going to call it Springtime Daisy because that's what it looks like. Or Fairy Daisy because she looks like a fairy. I switched from Bridal Peach to Fairy Daisy because it's springtime and just why not? Just to get into the vibe of things, you know? And the Sunset cl Cloud Cart is because who doesn't like watching the sunset in spring? I really want this though. Maybe I'll get it in the pipe. I'm not sure. And the Flower Glider obvious reasons anyways i'm gonna pause because you know bad names luigi raceway i can never say raceway properly i remember in one of my previous videos i always used to end up saying ways right <laughs> well it's a tongue twist it happens has it not happened to you guys before mm, look at that luigi hot air balloon <clears throat> So, how's everyone doing this fine day? I am doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's me, doing pretty good as always. It's weird, I have nothing else to talk about and nothing to show you guys. But all I can say is, well, OMG! I just realised tomorrow marks the year, the third year of me be becoming a YouTuber. Wow! I have got so much to talk about, yo. Okay, I know it's not March the 4th yet, but I just bursting to tell all of the newbies out there how I first started my channel. So I do have something to talk about. Seriously? So, my peoples, it all started. Okay, how about a little story time session with Reds? Story time with Reds. So basically, it all started when I was chilling before the whole pandemic shandemic started. I was watching, uh, I think it was a Dino Dash video or something. It was some someone playing it on YouTube and I was thinking, Hmm, I wish that was me uploading games on YouTube. And then it hit me out of nowhere that I really, really, really wanted a channel. And I just couldn't take it anymore. It was my childhood dream too. But I had to wait till I get older to make my own channel. Because, yeah. So I was like 15 and a half. Wait, let me see if I... Ooh, yes! My player level went up, finally, yes! Nice! Ah, oh, finally! On to the next race. I'm gonna have to pause. I'm so sorry. I know you hate it when I pause, but I don't want my channel to get shut down due to the bad names. And I hope you guys understand. You never know, a bad name could pop up. So yeah, see you in a bit. So, continuing on with my story of how I started this channel. Well... 2nd of March this was, 2nd of March I was chilling, watching a video of some random guy playing 
guy in a dash or something and it hit me out of nowhere that I wanted a channel and then I spoke to my mum about it and then she said, hmm, we'll see what we can do. Because we didn't know what else to do. We didn't know if we had the right equipment for doing YouTube channels. But then, like 3rd of March, I was going to do it like three years ago. Today I was going to have to make my first video but we couldn't because we had things to do. So we had to postpone it till March the 4th. So, March the 4th, 2020, <laughs> my mum had to be the camera person and I just had to like get out my laptop and then just record whatever I wanted to play on there. So I just put on like a random game just to like, it was basically a test um, video thing, basically like a test and upload it on YouTube, see how people like it. So my mum had to hold the camera and I was just saying stuff, playing stuff. Oh my god, as soon as it started recording the first time, I literally messed up my intro. And I had to be like, mum, just delete the first one right now. And she's like, it's okay. Like, they're not going to laugh at you. But she did cut it because it would be weird to upload that on YouTube when I'm all nervous and shaky and things. So I started again and I was really nervous, like you guys don't even know how nervous I was first week. I sounded like a nervous, no wait, I was nervous, I sounded, I sounded like a depressed person who has had enough of her life but honestly I was really excited but I was just so nervous, that's why my voice was shaky guys, even the camera was shaky. That's why I kept on messing the dialogues. If you guys don't know what game I'm talking about when I first made that video, it was Delicious Emily's Message in a Bottle. I used to do that series a lot when I was younger, when I started the channel back then. So yeah, in Delicious Emily games, you can read like dialogues because that's what they do. I messed up the dialogues so badly. Like, oh my god. I, I could have sworn my voice cracked somewhere doing that video and I was like, oh my god. In my head I was like, am I really doing this? Am I really going to upload this onto YouTube? So it, it was like a almost four minute video and then my mum just cut it and I was like, mommy, do you even let me say bye? And then she's like, aww, I didn't get four stars. I mean, I didn't get five stars. Oh well, I didn't get enough points. So yeah, she like, she just told me to upload it. And then I did. I was so nervous. I did write in the description my real name and the reason why I was shaking all of that because I was nervous and to be nice, please. And to like and subscribe, please. And I did and I got my, that video kind of like popped off a little bit it did have like 15 views and then when I woke up March the 5th 35 views and then my video just started getting more views and I did say I was gonna upload those videos weekly <sighs> so I'd already gained 11 subscribers during the week and my mum showed my family my first ever YouTube video and they were also proud of me and they said that I had talent <laughs> Well, I do try my best, and yeah. March the 11th, a week, literally a week after I uploaded my first video, I uploaded another video. Um, picking, right, picking up right where we left off, and yeah. I sounded much better in that one. I sounded much more confident in that one. And as time flew by i realized that i wasn't getting enough views and subscribers and that really worried me that was like in june 2020 and that's when my mum came in because she decided to promote my channel which by the way that's awesome of her to do and yeah <clears throat> in july 2020 yo that's when i hit 100 subscribers i swear when i noticed i hit 100 i screamed the house down and in november oh wait in august i hit a thousand um i don't want this video to be too long i'll continue with the story tomorrow please like and subscribe and
Peace out. Have a marvelous day. Thank you so much for supporting me.